All right, guys, we have uh, pulled over. Um, I just want to let you see um, not just what an amazing bike this is, but um, let's look at that. Let's take that scenery in there. This is New Zealand. This is Petoni, um, a location just outside Wellington. And like most places in New Zealand, um, they're absolutely beautiful. So on a serious note, Let's have a look at this bike now. I said it's a Kawasaki ZX-10R. It's a 2015 model done 15,000 Ks. And the great news is for me, it is one owner. I'm just gonna do a brief walk around this bike. And you can see that the um, 30th anniversary model, it's a beautiful looking bike. Uh, Jimmy, the sales consultant, has been kind enough to let me put the 360 camera on there to capture this. It's got a Yoshimura race can. Other than that, the bike is reasonably standard to production, but it's beautiful. Look how sharp it is. Look at that front nose cone. That's, that's really, really quite an awesome looking bike, isn't it? It's so futuristic looking. It's like some kind of alien from the front. Just reeks of speed and power. I'd say as well that the plastics and the, the paintwork, I'm not sure if you can see this, but the, the speckle in the light, the pearls really come out in the, in the light here. Apologies if you can't see that, but it's, um, yeah, it's an immaculate looking bike. So I guess really the, the question becomes, for when it comes to looks, you know, it's probably, I'd probably say because of the color scheme, it's quite specifically race orientated and quite specific to Kawasaki, this kind of race color. Um, these are this um, green, white, black colors. Um, I do believe that's slightly different from in the 30th anniversary model because, you know, they've, they've changed the scheme just slightly to sort of specifically stand out. But you look at this and you know this is a Kawasaki, right? And, you know, what's my view on that? Because, you know, like I like a bike to look noticeable for starters. Like, is this a bike that I would pull up, um, park up at the side of the road and somebody is going to come over and go... Yeah, mate, that's a nice bike. That's nice. Because remember now, I'm probably a bit backward to most people. For me, the look of the bike comes number one. The ride of the bike comes second. And then, you know, thirds, all the other bits and pieces like aftermarket, you know, and um, other improvements, safety enhancements, etc. Uh, and, you know, just on safety, you know, like that's one great thing about this. We all know that the ZX-10R is one of the most capable race focused bikes out there so just having that knowledge that you've got the abs the traction control the configurability on those different um, um safety features um, really allows you to um sort of change the bike dynamically to fit the circumstance you know if you're in the rain and you're you're on a, a road that's just like really waterlogged and got lots of grit and grime on it you know, you can change the power mode down to give you that safety feature. You know, if you're on the track, you need to turn off the ABS or turn off the traction control, but maybe leave the wheelie control on so you just have that extra safety, then, you know, you can do that. So look, I'm going to take this bike for a ride and, um, you know, you will get the full perspective of how this bike sounds, how it looks, and you know, then ultimately I've got to make a decision. Um, I've also talked to Jim. So this is a, actually this is a really good tip. You know, you as I said in one of my last videos, your dealer can be your best friend. If you have a dealer that is vested in his customers, which to be fair, most of them have to be because you have to remember this is their business. You know, they they rely on people coming back buying bikes having their bike serviced, you know, it's a really, really fundamental part of engaging with a dealer and for a dealer to look after his customers. 
And the great thing here is Jimmy has said to me, because I asked him, um, look, you know, obviously I want the most from my bike as possible. Um, I'm just going to run something by you. Let's say I put a deposit down on the bike because I really like it. Um, are you happy for, you You know, what, will you hold that bike for me while I sell my bike and try and maximize that, um, you know, that or reduce that loss? And he was like, yeah, of course, do it all the time. And, you know, like that's that's a great thing. You know, like you've just got one, a great salesman that cares about his customers. And two, they care about everybody else's situation and they'll look to work with you and, you know, they will facilitate what they need to do to try and make things happen. So on that note, I'm gonna sign out just for the moment and I'm gonna switch over to um, voice record so that we can um, sort of work through the, the bike as we're riding it, all right? Talk to you.